that wreckage. I'm amazed they're still making them like this. They? This looks like a standard fighter jet, but it's actually different. They've done a lot of things to reduce the number of parts and cut down manufacturing costs. Without sacrificing the plane's strength and performance. Very cost effective. You could make three planes for the price of two this way. Who's this they you're referring to? North Osea Grunder Industries. Formerly the South Belker Munitions Factory. Run by the Belkin government. But Osea's taken over that land now. South Belkin technology is being used for Osea. Why does Yuktabania have this? Good question. Actually... <clears throat> speaking of Belka... Osea recruited some Belkin flying aces after the war 15 years ago to strengthen our Air Force. You know about this? No. Really? An aggressor squadron comprised entirely of Belkin aces. Our old enemy. Well, that's the rumor anyway. Even an old fox like me isn't sure they exist. I bet the current administration isn't even aware of the story. Before the Ocean ground forces can proceed into the Yuktubanian capital of Sinegrad, they'll have to deal with Kruuk Fortress directly in their path. The robust defense of this fortress has stalled the advance of our armies for the past five days. If this situation continues for much longer, it will give Yuktubania time to complete preparations for a counterattack. We need to take the fortress and enable our ground forces to reach the enemy capital as quickly as possible. To do this, we will launch an air attack on Kruuk Fortress. Our last attack sortie fell prey to their anti-aircraft guns and air defense fighters. Deal a decisive blow to the fortress and its surrounding air power, and support the ground forces as they penetrate the complex. Open the door to Kruuk. The day of Sinegrad's liberation is near. with this formation then? War Dog Launch. Pilots, check your plane and prepare for refueling. One mile to refueling craft. 500 yards to go. Objective received. Lieutenant Colonel, the enemy sent this message to our armies. This fortress will not be captured. Go back to your country. All right then. Now let's finish this up quick so we can get home to our families. Archer, engaging. Edge, engaging. Allied forces in the air, listen to me. If the ground forces are wiped out, this operation will fail. Top priority on eliminating the threat to our ground forces. 
Objective complete. Mission accomplished. The so-called impregnable fortress fell in half a day, and the momentum of the Ocean army had reached a peak. Its final stronghold lost, the Yuktubanian army was setting up a barricade in the urban area up ahead. The next battle could see a lot of bloodshed, with innocent civilians caught in the crossfire. However, the men and officers of the Ocean army were optimistic. They thought, as long as the three fighters from Sand Island were taking part in the action, things would turn out all right. They have become the center of the army's strength now. 